Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela from Dear Angela's Vintage, and today I'm part of the Drop Hop Sale hosted by Beth Carolina Sweet Treats and Pretties. Um, there's going to be about 11 of us sellers having uh, drop sales today, starting at 3 p.m. Eastern. And I know I'm towards the end of the list, and after me is George the Antique Nomad, and right before me, you probably were just there, was... Pamela Blanchard, and um, this works just like a live sale, and the fact that I'll show you an item and give you a number, and then you'll comment, and, but instead of like in a live sale in the chat, you'll just post down in the comments below with the number if you'd like to claim an item. And the same that way, it's just not live, you'll just be posting in the comment section with the number of the item that you'd like. And it's not against the rules to fast forward if you're looking for a certain item. I mean, I know it was a little confusing <laughs> at the last drop sale. So if there's something that you want to scroll through and see, that's fine with me. Um, you just comment with the item number down below. And I think I'll be putting them up. Like, I'll say them, but also put them up on the screen um, in my editing. So that way you can see it as well. Um my drop sale will be up for about a week. I'll take it down. I'll be out of town the weekend after Easter. So I want to try to get everything uh, done before I leave for, uh, leave for out of town, which is Thursday the 21st. But I will keep the video up until like the 23rd or 24th. And that way, you know, it's... I can just finish the rest of the things if there's any claims after I leave when I come back. And if you do decide to claim an item, don't forget to send me your info at DearAngelasVintage at gmail.com with your name, your YouTube name if it's different, your shipping address, and your PayPal info. And I do, and I believe all the other sellers, we all use pirate ships, so that'll be the best way to... Um, get your shipping information for after the sale. And now, let's head into the sale. Alright, for my first item, I have this Walt Disney World Dad uh, Milk Glass Mug, pedestal mug. It, it is marked with Walt Disney uh, Productions. It doesn't have any chips or cracks. I do notice that there's like a couple lines, and I thought, oh, that it was a crack, but there's nothing on the way through, so I don't know if it, I think it's just like in the, like when they molded the cup, when they made it, um, or like a little scratch, just a couple of scratches, but it's in pretty great condition, no paint loss or any signs of wear that I can tell. Mm, it says down on there, so it'd be great for a Father's Day gift or just someone who collects Disney items, you know, I, um... Saw that they have like a mom one out there too. So, you know, you could pick one up for your dad if you got one for your mom, maybe. Uh, the bottom is labeled with a 22 or it has it stamped into it. Let me see if I can catch that in the light. 22. And then it also has a heat resistant um, stamped into there embossed. But just a fun milk glass pedestal mug. For your coffee, your hot cocoa for your dad. Just again, a great Father's Day present, you know. And for this, I am asking $10 for the milk glass mug, number two. Number two for the milk glass mug. And for my next item, I have this pair of Lucite uh, Seahorse hangers, wall hangers, that I have abalone shell, like inlaid in there. It's a nice green background. I haven't really come across anything, you know, that's lucite like this with uh, this brighter color. I think that would be fun for the people who like, like mermaids and they have those like chalkware uh, fish. This would be fun to add along with those. Here's a bigger size, so it's like the mommy and the baby. Um, this has the shell as well in there. 
Um, it's more like a, a raw cut edge on like the acrylic, um, just where it was poured or the lucite. Uh, and then they both have their hangers on the back. The tall, the biggest one is about a little over seven inches. And then the smaller one is uh, about four inches. I just think they're fun little like mid-century seahorses. You can add to your wall and stagger them, hang them up. Um, you now it'd be fun if you have like a little, you know, sea life kind of bathroom with like the fish, and just like seashells and stuff. That'd be really cool. And for these, I'm asking $18, $18, number one. Number one, $18. Okay, and next up is a pair of High Z glass candlesticks in the orchid pattern. This pair here. I'm going to set one down so I can show you. I got a, the loose light candles aren't for sale, but. I picked these up so I could show you all the candlesticks, what it would look like. Now, I have two different sizes, and um, but, you know, you could do that as well just to show you what it would look like. But with the blue side or, you know, if you got the blue ones or green, red, or just regular tapers, you could put in there. And I just want to show you the etched pattern up close. See if I can show you there with the dark or background of my shirt. It's got this orchid all the way around. And then it's a double candle holder. And you get the pair. Whoops, the <laughs> candlesticks fell on the carpet. No damage, <laughs> but I'm asking $18 for the pair and number five for the high Z glass candlesticks. All right, and next up is a lot of five pieces. It's a Mel Max set. I originally got these in a miss or like a lot from Catherine the Young last year, I believe. Um, but passing it on. To the next person, I have this lidded sugar. It's in the, they're all the pieces are in this aqua color. And they are marked with a Branchell Mel Mac product. Branchell Company, St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> and there's the mark there. And then they even have K... La Mauvne for the, like, the designer name listed. On the bottom there. StreamYard. There you go. You can see where the designer name is. And then it comes with these two teacups as well, or for your espresso. Um, and then two saucers as well. So, you know, you can sit down and have your tea or your espresso on your saucer and get some sugar here. I get a little lidded sugar dish. I think the color is very mid-century. reminds me of Jamie and mid-century wasted. And this is kind of like a fun blue color I like to include in, like, my logos. Um, but this set, I'm asking $12.00. $12, number four, for the Mel Max set. Next up, I have a cameo brooch. Uh, this one I got out of a jewelry jar, so I got a good deal on it, so I'm going to give you guys a good deal as well. It's this little, it's more of a resin composite material um, cameo. It's got this pinky peachish background with lighter 
Uh, at the bottom, the girl's got like her hair up with a little pony almost, and some tendrils hanging down, and it's got this little full like gold tone around it. Here's the back. Just think it's a cute cameo. It's a smaller sized one, so it's about an inch tall. I think it's just, I love the cameos, but I've been picking up some so I can get some and then pass some on in different lots. So this is about how big it would be on your shirt. A little cameo. There she is up close. Try to tilt her towards the light. So for her, I am asking $8. $8 for the cameo brooch, number nine. And my next item is also a brooch. It is, it kind of makes me think of a cameo style, but it has a rose, like a transfer wear rose on there. It isn't hand painted, but still pretty with this like twisted, uh, almost like chain link uh, accenting around the edge. Um, it's not porcelain, I believe more of like a uh, plastic, because it doesn't seem like that, like it's ceramic porcelain, like a dish. Uh, this is the back. You can use it as a pendant or a brooch. So you can hang it on a chain if you'd like. And you can, you know, look here as a pendant or off to the side as your brooch. And this is about two inches tall. I think it's just... Really fun brooch, you know, hashtag the brooch gang. You can get this and share to our hashtag. And for this item, I am asking $10, number eight, for the rose brooch slash pendant. Okay, and next up, I have a really pretty piece of glass, this green dish, and it does glow. Uh, it is Jefferson Glass Company, and the pattern is called Many Loops. Uh, I think you can see why. And it has this white opalescent edging here. It's a nice, fun shape on it. I decided I'm going to show you the glow with my little keychain black light. So let's turn off the ring light because I feel like that, it doesn't, you know blast everything out as much you can see i think the green glowing there better but it glows on the bottom all the way up to the opalescent it's not super strong like in here because that's where it gets like thinner but pretty green glow and the jefferson glass company Seems to be operated between 1900 and 1930. So this is probably closer to a 1930s piece, according to Katie at Vintage and Vinyl. But I think it's just gorgeous. So, I mean, almost an antique. <laughs> and, you know, you could set it on your table, put little candies in there, you know, um, you could put stuff in there for your Easter house. Holiday, you could, you know, the fake grass, you know, a little bit and put your fake eggs in here, kind of like a decorative piece, or, you know, just your candies or as a decoration. I believe this is about eight inches across. Yeah, it's about eight inches, like from top. I mean, obviously, it's going to come in a little bit with the curviness, but for this, I'm asking $20 for the Jefferson Glass Dish, number 14. $20, number 14, for the beautiful uranium dish. And next up, I have a lot of four pieces. They are all pink and white, just, just two different shades of pink. I have these, and then I have this pink and white. These are more like a hot pad. There is two different sizes. Um, the smaller one 
is about seven inches across. And then the bigger one in that colorway is about 11 and a half inches across. So these you could use as hot pads, like pot holders. This could be for a little pot or like for a hot dish to put on. You know, you could put on top of that. So these are the front signs. Pretty spring, summery, pink and white. And then these two are the same size. Used as a placemat or on your table. It's got the pretty pink and white, like a floral looking pattern. It looks like little flowers. And there's the backs. The pink and white, I think it's just, you know, it's not too in your face. It's nice, like delicate spring colors. And for these lot of four, I'm asking $10 and $10 number 11, $10 number 11 for the lot of hot pad placemats. Next up, I have a George Riard ice bucket. It's kind of a bar lot. Um, now I'm going to include a couple glasses in the lot. They're not vintage, but they're fun. So I'm gonna, and I'm going to include some swizzle sticks. So here is the ice bucket. It's got this leather, um, leather kind of like animal skin pattern to it. It's got this little gold tone ring up top. And there's the inside, clean, not discolored or anything, or cracked. Here's the bottom, it says George Riard, USA. Um, there's a little bit of sticker tape residue left on there. Get that off. Um, but the pretty brown George Riard ice bucket. And then... Picked out some kind of like more figural fun swizzle sticks to include. There's like a little Seagram's 7 uh, swizzle stick that almost looks kind of like bamboo. And there's a, like a little tiki guy from Sheraton, Chicago. And there's a little... Some, and a uh, the Windjammer. Fun little like ship... And here's one with like a night. It's from the Drawbridge Steak and Seafood Wine and Spirits. And here's one with like a little wagon wheel. It's called the Coach Grill. And I thought this one was cool because it's like your little spoon. You can mix up your drink. And it's by Make Your Own Bourbon Beam. Fill it for Jim Beam. So I'd come with these swizzle sticks. And then I was going to also include, let me put down these swizzle sticks, these two Maker's Mark glasses with like the wax drip glaze on them. These aren't vintage, but I've had them and thought it'd be a good idea to include them with the ice bucket. You could have your own little bar lot. So here's your Maker's Mark little scotch whiskey glasses so for the lot i'm asking twenty dollars number six for the george riard ice bucket twenty dollars number six for the lot next up is this wild rose pattern um dish it is made in bavaria and germany uh schumann asberg germany is marked with the number 13 on the back And it's got this really pretty, the pattern is called Wild Rose. And it's got this gold accented detailing you can see stands out there in the light. It's really cool because like you almost don't see it there and then as the light goes across it. And I think this is called the blush pattern. It's got some blushing on the edges. 
mixed with some light like seafoam green type color. I think it's just a really pretty dish. I like the shape, how it kind of curves up. Then I think this would be pretty on an entryway table. You could like put your mail on here or just, you know, have it as a little decorative dish. Something soft in there because you wouldn't want it to get scratched up, but still really pretty. And this dish is, I think, uh, almost seven and a half inches across. And for this, I, and this one is nine dollars, number three. Nine dollars, number three, for the Bavaria made in Germany dish. And next is a elephant necklace. It's it's pretty white elephant necklace. It's got this kind of gold um, blanking on the jewelry term there, but it's got a little gold tone piece on top. It's got all the little elephants along the chain. And you can like see the mold lines on the elephant and then the little pieces in between are kind of these little rosebud beads. It's got a regular um, ring clasp, jump ring clasp. It works fine, no sticking. Um, the It's a little bit patinaed on the clasp here. This is a brighter, like a gold tone. Um, it's, you know, fun. Little elephant necklace. And this is about 12 inches long. It's about 24 end to end. And it's what it kind of look like. Fun little elephant necklace. I'm asking $10, number seven. $10, number seven for the white elephant necklace. And next up, I have this bunny planter. I picked up at an antique booth from an Instagram seller I know, my Sacred Heart Vintage. Um, I, I couldn't find a maker on this when I did some research, but it looks like it's like a mold, one of those mold ones, not like Holland mold, but where you can get it because they had different like colorways and patterns people painted on. Uh, this one has initials of PT and someone's attached like the little felt to the bottom of the feed in the basket there. But the paint job is really do well done. There's no chipping or wear or like any glaze skips on here. The bunny's got some little brown accents on his little hands and feet. And this little pink, uh, he's little bunny teeth and the ears are in good shape. No chips or, you know, little flea bites on those. Little basket you could use as a planter or as a candy dish. Uh, this is about five odd inches long. And then the bunny is about five and a half inches tall. Just a few... You know, cute uh, little kind of Easter springtime planter you could use or candy dish. He could be like he's hauling your candy <laughs> over onto your table. But yeah, it's got the little felt. Those are kind of like a little loose, but if you're just, you know, leaving on the table, it should be fine to protect your tabletops. And for the bunny, I'm asking $20 for the bunny planter number 13. Next up, I have these trays I got away from Trusty Huckster Mercantile. Um, I don't have any use for them, so I thought I'd pass them on. These two, I believe, are they're the same um, theme. They're like this golfing theme. You could use as placemats. It's Pimpernel, I believe. It's got that scene and this golfing scene where it looks like kind of a watercolor painting 
with this dark green border. And a little dog. This one. And then the second one is a little painted tray. It's got this black painted tray with like a green hand painted bow tie. GMW. I don't know if that was someone's initials and then CM7. I don't know. If, um, the back is marked designed expressly for oh yeah, Governor G. Menon Williams by Kentley Corporation, Grand Rapids, Michigan. So it's personal governor's tray here. But I have this lot of three trays. The biggest placemat or tray um, it's about let's see about 15 16 inches and the black one is like oh they're about the same size. but for this lot of three trays, um, for these, I'm asking $16, number 15, $16, number 15 for the three trays. And for my last, um, item lot, I have this old vintage set of books. They're all by Ellery Queen. They're all kind of like, uh, seem like Mr. Like a kind of action, <laughs> like, James Bond kind of stories. Uh, it's like a kiss and kill. What's the book? Reminded me of Katie and her saucy novels that she used to read. The Dragon's Teeth. It says these were originally printed like in the 50s. And then these copies are all from uh, 1968 to 1972. King is Dead. Kind of like thriller type books, I guess that's the word I was looking for. And then The Perfect Crime. Um, so for these, I am asking $10. $10 for the set of books, number 12. For the Ellery Queen books. They're all in pretty good, you know, pretty good shape. Um... You know, obviously some aging to them, but not much boxing on the pages. Just, you know, just some yellowing, but it's fun even just for like a little stack here on a bookshelf or this way for some color and then like in a vignette. That would be fun. Uh, so $10, number 12. All right, and that concludes my sale. That's uh, everything I have for today. And um, if you do want to claim an item, just remember comment below in the comment section with the item number that I have given. Um, don't forget to send me your information to my email here on the screen. I will have everyone's links below in the description of the other drop sales. So in case you missed them, you can go back. And also for George the Antique Nomad, I'll have his at the top because he'll be next up. Again, I thank Beth Carolina Princess for hosting the Drop Pop sale. I'm excited to be a part <laughs> with um, Misty and George and uh, Beth and Dolores, Miss Damn Jewelry and Katie and a bunch of other people, Dia Thrill of the Thrift, um, to be all in this drop sale. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of good, fun items. I know Katie's having brooches. So, if you missed hers, make sure you jump on over after this and catch those brooches. Um, but next up is George the Antique Nomad. And, you know, he always brings great things. So, jump on over to his next. This will be the same drop sale where you comment below you know, with the item number that he gives you. And again, thank you for taking time to watch my drop sale. And I will see you guys around in the community.